What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Starfield's official mod tools and when they're going to be coming to the game. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Todd Howard recently had an interview with one of the Japanese publications and modding was one of the things they talked about. They said, of course, he said there's tons of fan-made Starfield mods already available in the game, but they're wanting to have their own Bethesda Game Studio modding tool added to the game early next year. So sometime in 2024, you will have a modding tool for, uh, or Bethesda will be bringing their modding tool to uh, Starfield. He said mods are important to the studio. As such, Bethesda is working hard to ensure mod support functions without a hitch when the mods are ready you will be able to do almost anything as we have done in the past and the mods will be supported next year but it will uh, but we will do it in a big way because we love it too um it went on to talk about how they enjoyed the community you know modding things from you know like skyrim up to through up to and throughout the uh, fallout series so he said you know they're hoping to see more of the modding community get into gaming and making a career out of it i said their modding community or the modding community has been with them for 20 years and we love what they do and hope to see more of them make a career out of it and they said that his plan is to have full mod support like all of their previous games uh and howard also said the response to mod inquiries discussing you know what exactly or where exactly these mods will be will they be just on pc and xbox it seems kind of like from the answer that he gave that there will be some mods available on Xbox, kind of like it was with some of the previous games, but the full mod support of the tool will be mainly available on PC. So you're going to be able to do a little bit of modding on Xbox, but you will see the majority of all those crazy mods and everything that's in full support being available on PC. He also wanted to speak a little bit about how well the game is doing. Uh, you know, he said that he was really happy with how the game is, you know, turning out, how people are enjoying it. And they even kind of, you know, talked a little bit about the concurrent uh, player count on Steam being over 330,000 players, which is a really good thing for the game. As they said around 6 million people have played the game so far. So it looks like they're wanting to continue support for this game for a really long time down the road. And adding this modding tool and future DLC is definitely going to be a way to do that. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.